Hi guys, it's Lizzie here. So today I decided to vlog again. Um, it's already about three o'clock and I've been to town this morning with Chris and got a few things for Christmas. And then later today I'm going out so I'm going to do my makeup and my nails and do some tidy and things like that. So I thought I would show you my day. Firstly, I'll show you what I got in town. So first up, oh, they're upside down, were these mince pies from Waitrose. Oh gosh, that most really now destroyed. Um, these ones don't have any dairy in, these and the Asda ones. Oh, oh dear, but they might be quite crumbly now. And then, what else is in here? I got two of these for seven pounds. Let me find the other one. These are my favorite selection of chocolates. Um, oh, these were a pound each, so it didn't cost too much. But yeah, I'm going to put the ones that are in wrappers into my selection box. And then the other ones, I think I'll just keep in Tupperware from one box um, to take up to my mum's at Christmas. And the other one I'll keep complete in its little set. Oh, hello, Piggy. You're going to help. So there's them. Um, I also bought these. As we know, after dinner mints are my favourite. Um, and as before, I might have eaten some, but this time much better behaved. Like I only ate four. So that's all right, isn't it? <laughs> it took all my strength not to keep eating them, but I must save them for Christmas. Um, what else did I get? I got myself some makeup, hang on. So the makeup bits I got were both from H&M. Um, I got this blue pencil in the shade into the blue and then this eyeshadow in turmeric um, and they were both $4.99 so yeah those were all the bits I got today um, so I think it's quite a nice Christmas selection so what I'm going to do now is do my nails first I think and then my makeup um, I want to use this pigment that I bought for my nails which is a sort of uh, I don't know how to call it it's like a, a chameleon powder that you put over the top of gel and it makes it shine from greens to oranges and yellows, sort of like the colour of a lizard. I want to try that, but I don't know how good it will look. Um, so yeah, I will do that. I wish I had a tripod still so I could show you, but I'll, I'll show you the end result, obviously. So what I'm going to do to gel my nails is do my cuticles first. So I've got a cuticle knife and shape them um, and then lightly buff the surface of my nail and go over it with a dehydrator or um, I've got some just plain acetone here um, and the gels I'm going to use are ones that are actually made in Hove which is um, where I live I think I'm going to go for the grey and then oh it's the gel bottle by the way they're really big bottles very long lasting and then um, the pigment I have is in here so as you can see it is orange and gold and then it sort of has a green shift to it um i'm not sure how to use it i've never used it so far but i think it will go best with the gray these are the other colors i have but they're by a different brand the gel bottle is all vegan and cruelty free which is why i moved on to that um i do have a black in here and i would prefer it on black but it's just absolutely shit it takes about four coats and even then it's questionable whether it's solid black um so what's that a navy blue i don't think that go either yeah i'm gonna go gray so um i'll show you when i'm done so i've only just finished my nails and it's now five o'clock um and this is what i've gone for I don't know if it'll focus there we go so it's gray with this um chameleon powder it's still a bit messy around the edges, but I can't really work out. Hang on, now it's gone out of focus. You see all this? Like, there's still chameleon powder stuck to my skin around them. I think I need to wash my hands with like a brush or use a makeup brush and just sort of scrub around the outside. But um, yeah, other than that, I'm quite happy with them. Now they won't focus at all. There we are. But the problem I have is I really like chew the skin around my nails, which I know sounds really gross, but. Um, it's just a bad habit I've got into, but I find when I gel my nails, because they're that bit thicker, I can't sit and pick them and um, cause so much damage. I have washed my hands, um, and you can see that blue still just hasn't budged, that eyeliner. H&M makeup is literally amazing. 
What came through the post yesterday was some more um, IPA, so it's 99% alcohol, and I'm going to clean my brushes now so that tomorrow I can do that makeup I said with using the new turmeric eyeshadow from H&M. Um, so it's a bit late now to be doing makeup, I think. And how I clean my brushes is I put the alcohol into this spray bottle because so it's really nice fine mist, and I dilute it with a bit of water to get it down to about 70%. And I spritz them and they'll be dry within about 10 minutes for the smaller brushes. And then maybe 20 minutes for these like more dense face brushes. Um, maybe up to half an hour potentially. But yeah, I'm in no rush because they just need to be dry by tomorrow. So this costs about like under a tenner I think for postage and for, for this which is about a litre. Yeah. One litre. Sorry, that was out of shot. I forgot to say that once I've sprayed the brush, I'll then take the brush and just go over it on this towel. Well, flannel. Um, it is clean. It's still a bit, it's a bit stained, or it looks a bit stained through the camera. Um, and then I just spray them in the wash once they're covered in makeup and glitter and all sorts. So I used to use paper towels, but then you just get through so many, and I think it's a bit wasteful. So yeah, I'm going to clean this selection because this is the ones I use the most frequently. Now I'm not really sure what to do because it's now half past five and um, that only took about five minutes. I don't know if I should start making dinner or I feel like it's been a bit of a weird day. I had such a productive morning in town and I got all the bits I wanted and I got Christmas presents but I didn't show them because the people that they're for, it's mostly my mum if I'm honest, um, she might be watching and I don't want to spoil the surprise. And then um, like cum communal presents for the family. I didn't buy individual presents other than for mum because it's just, I don't want anything and I don't want people to feel obliged to get me anything. So I was like, I'll just buy something for us all to share. Um, you know, it makes it a bit easier and we're all adults. We don't really need more stuff. I don't know. Maybe I'll regret it close to Christmas and be like, oh gosh, I should have got everyone presents. But it's okay. It's only the 8th right now. So if I change my mind, I've got time. Um, yeah. I don't know what to do about dinner. I don't think we've really got much food. We need to do a food order. And there's always that time where it's like, oh, we're gonna have to go to the shop anyway and get a small amount of food now. Um, we might have fajitas, I think, because we've got all the stuff for that. But yeah, what I'm gonna do is vlog tomorrow and then combine the two, because I know today's been really short because I only started really late on in the day. So I'll leave this here for now, unless anything exciting crops up. But um, yeah, if not, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Hi guys, so it's now Saturday. Um, today I am going out this evening, going to karaoke with my friends, and then tomorrow is Chris's 30th birthday. So hopefully at midnight I want to surprise him with this card and like a round of shots and a cocktail and stuff like that. So um, that'd be quite nice. I'm hoping he still wants to go karaoke. Um, he's not like 100% keen, but it's, you know, you love it when you're there. <laughs> At least I do. Um, so I've just been to town again. It's now 20 past 11, so the clock's behind you. Um, and I was trying to find some sort of like shapewear to wear under a mesh bodysuit. Is it mesh, like, you know, like sheer bodysuit so that I'm not just like black bra and then stomach and then jeans. Like I wanted just it to all be black underneath and then just my arms for it to be sheer. And just nothing fits. Nothing fits both my body and my chest. So yeah, it's really frustrating. I find that really annoying. My boobs are too big to fit into sizes. Like they just come in 12 and 14 and whatever, you know, and they don't take into consideration that you might not be that whole proportion all the way down. My boobs are 32 double H. And so finding even just bras that fit are an absolute nightmare. Like I can't go to Primark, Topshop, New Look, H&M, anywhere like that to buy bras, um, Victoria's Secret, you know, all the rest. So to then find the shape wear that I wanted, just so that I was like, yeah, just all black underneath. I might just wear a vest, but I felt like that was a bit too thick and shape wear is really like a nice thin material, which is what I wanted, but I'll just have to wear a vest. So um, yeah, it'll be fine. And where we're going will be dark anyway, so it won't really matter, but I have this problem all the time. And I find it really frustrating that there's never, ne never, <laughs> never a solution. But yeah, anyway, um, so my plan today is to, I've got makeup to put on later for going out. So I will show you that. Um, I've got some tidying to do as always. And um, I'm waiting for a delivery from Killstar for some shoes I bought ages ago, about two and a half weeks. 
and they didn't get delivered because my whole address wasn't on there which actually happened to me about three times in this last two months or so it has um doesn't have my house number it just has my flat number on my road so it gets sent back um i find that really annoying so i think post gets delivered around half 12 one o'clock hopefully my shoes will be in that and one of chris's presents is in that so um yeah fingers crossed because there's other present that's coming from um america i think and so that's been delayed and i would like it for him to have something to open but if not drinks will have to do so i've not really been up to a great deal i just can't stop eating and just being really lazy um but what i have done is found new homes to some makeup so i'll show you that um basically i have quite a lot of products to get through that i don't need anymore so these are some of the bits that i'm giving to my friends um we've got the barry m color correcting concealer kit which i got in a makeup box the other day but i already have one by sleek oh pepper you don't need it um some concealers in a few different shades from nyx a couple of mascaras um tinted moisturizers from the body shop Oop. hello little sausage um this intense sort of moisturizing ointment it looks quite waxy inside like it's solid and then it will melt at body temperature i assume and some um bronzing beads piggy's being so cute and affectionate the last two nights we've um stopped her getting into the bathroom because she just sits in there and cries because she wants to tap on and actually she hasn't made a fuss at all that the bathroom's been locked so all this time where's she gone we could have um had the bathroom door locked and had a sort of night's sleep <laughs> but never mind so what i'm going to do now is have a bath and start getting ready to go out because it would seem i'm not going to do anything productive today so i might as well commit to that here's a little cake um so i've just got out of the bath and then the food delivery came so i just thought i'll show you some of the bits i've bought um with chris we got some more Christmas chocolates because I couldn't help myself. We went to Tesco this time because they have different stuff. So there's really big chocolate coins. Oh, on the website they were purple, which is why I bought them. Jeffy loves them. And then this indulgent selection of um, truffles or, I don't know. Oh, it's got more chocolate discs in and they look identical to these. What's in here? Um... A carefully selected assortment of truffles and discs. Zesty orange truffles, salted caramel discs, coffee infused discs and fruity raspberry truffles. I actually like the sound of all of them so that's quite nice. Um, and if you remember I mentioned in my first vlog, oh she's so cute, um, I mentioned that as well, but that I wanted to make my own Massaman curry. I know this isn't quite making your own because it's already made, but it's still a lot cheaper than a takeaway. And I can just add whatever I want to it, so that's quite nice. Um, and sorry, I was just reading the label. Now they do their own brand of um, cleaning products, and I got these two. So this one's fabric conditioner. I never use fabric conditioner, but I thought I'd give it a go. White orchid, orchid. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. And then um, just some laundry liquid because we'd run out. These were really cheap, so that's quite good. Um, and then we did get to deliver some crisps. Now these were a replacement of barbecue ones, I think. Yeah, they're not vegan, so, oh God, they're covered in hair already. So that's a shame, I can't eat those. But there are these ones, spicy chili. So we got the same sort of, they were festive ones like this, but they were barbecue, but they didn't come. And I also ordered a um, selection box and that didn't come. But other than that, everything else is here oh what's this a free sample is aerial cruelty free who knows don't know what this is three in one pod oh it's very squishy it's really cold okay well i will find out what this is um yeah so that's all that stuff i've just got out of the shower and so I've just got a top on so far, but nothing on the bottom half. So when the delivery man turned up, I was like, oh God, I've got to find my dressing gown. Um, I'm going to start putting my makeup on whilst watching just some YouTube. And then, um, yeah, I'll catch up with you after that. 
Hey guys, so I'm ready to go out now. As you can see, I've done my makeup. I used that new um, turmeric eyeshadow from H&M. I absolutely love it. And I've got Chris's birthday card done. It says, um, I think you've got something stuck in your beard. And it says, dickhead. <laughs> um, anyway, I need to get dressed as I'm still in my, um, I've only got a top on, basically. So, um, tracky bees. So yes, but I better go because I'm running late. But hopefully I'll catch up with you later if I remember to vlog. Hey guys, so I just realised that I never actually finished my vlog the other day. I think the last thing you saw was me going out to meet Chris and I showed you his birthday card. Um, so I thought I'd end it now. Um, I did want to show you a birthday card that my friend Ruby gave to me. And she painted it, um, if you can see, like watercolour. And it's Pepper Jew and Jaffa. It's just the cutest thing. I'm going to put it in a frame and put it on the wall behind me that's the wall with all the pictures on and also the camera is on a tripod like hands-free so um it was only like two pound fifty off ebay and it arrived today and it seems fine like the camera's still upright um <laughs> i don't know it seems a bit too good to be true but that's okay we'll see what happens i'll, I'll like test drive it on top of the sofa or the bed or something where to see if the camera um to see if the phone's likely to fall out and smash because that would be the worst um <laughs> so i've just ordered myself a massimo and curry obviously they're my favorite and chris is away for the weekend uh, it's friday i've just come back from work so um i think i'm gonna watch like love actually or the holiday eat my curry and just relax today's been a really stressful day at work it was really horrible um so I'm quite happy to be home, <laughs> to be honest. So yeah, I will vlog again soon. I'm not sure, maybe this weekend. Depends what I get up to. But um, I hope you guys have a lovely weekend and I will see you all soon. Take care, bye-bye.